Hi, welcome. Here I have Alienware laptop. The condition of the laptop is there's no Wi-Fi. So the first thing I like to do is to troubleshoot the driver and see if it actually sees the network interface card, NIC. So when I go to the device manager, I was not able to locate the NIC. And I go to the settings and there's no Wi-Fi available. So this laptop needs a Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and try to change out the network interface card. This is what we call the NIC. Hopefully it has the same model and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do is to shut down the computer. For some reason the laptop does not have the keyboard and a mouse. Uh, I had to use the external mouse and keyboard for this purpose. Alright, so this is the Alienware 17 inch laptop. Uh, let's check out the model here. It looks like the model is P48E. That is the model P48E. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's remove some of the screws. Open up the uh, back cover and see what is in there now there are two ways to do it the first is like what I'm doing right now is to troubleshoot and see if it's the NIC card is the problem and if you're not good with um, troubleshooting or taking things apart uh, maybe the best route is to buy one of those USB Wi-Fi adapter I'll link it down in the description below what, what it does is that this USB Wi-Fi adapter, it overrides the internal Wi-Fi and it kind of bypassed it and used it as a USB external. I do not see the wireless card. The NIC card is not here. Uh -huh. Oh, yep, it is right here. It's the built in NIC card. So, this wireless NIC card is not visible, uh, it's part of the motherboard. It is built into it. As you can see, that, that is the uh, Wi-Fi antenna cable for right there it says WLAN wireless LAN that's what it stands for so WLAN wireless LAN that is the uh, the uh, Wi-Fi card so this card is embedded to the motherboard it is soldered into so there's nothing I can do to replace it um, it has to require some kind of a soldering, desolder, and change it. So for this purpose, actually it is a waste. Not able to replace with one of this. I'm going to reconnect it back again. And bring you the USB um, Wi-Fi. So just a second. I will be using this USB Wi-Fi adapter. As you can see, it's AC600 USB adapter. Uh, this has about 200 megabytes for 2.4 and 433 megabytes for 5 gigahertz. So just plug and play. Let me reconnect this cable back again.
I am just wondering what happened to that additional screw. I'll take a look in a second, but I just wanted to uh, turn on the computer and set up the Wi-Fi. Make sure that I can get the Wi-Fi going. So as you can see that the USB Wi-Fi is installed on one side. Right now I just have to use the keyboard um, to sign in. Okay, I'm signed in. And again, the trackpad doesn't work. Have to use the uh, USB here for the thing. Let's see if I can get the Wi-Fi. Yep, now I can see the Wi-Fi. Um, be using the, as you can see that the Wi-Fi shows up. So here is the Wi-Fi that I'm able to press available and get the Wi-Fi going. So if you can't fix the internal uh, network interface card, the only way to do it is to get one of those USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter. All right, I'll link it down in the description below. Go check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, until next time. I hope this video helps. And if it does, please smash the like button. Feel free to subscribe. Until next time, bye now.